All right, so yeah, as you see, saw in the video that I posted this morning or yesterday, if you're getting this today, um, this tractor. Oh shoot, is it focusing? Oh, it looks like my lens is dirty too. Anyway, these tractors are very simple to uh, take apart. I know you guys said one of you guys says, "Hey, why don't you use a pressure washer?" Well, I use a pressure washer all the time. It's just we use these things and they get dirty pretty quickly. Um, the 8120 there that is pressure washed like a couple, I don't know, a couple weeks back. Uh, this one here was pressure washed uh, probably the same time that one was, but this one probably got 30 more hours of use on it in that time. So, you know, when everything's up and tight and underneath the cab, I mean, this transmission sits right here. It, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of difficult to uh, get it clean. So, of course, I pulled those hoses off. Now I got oil running out all over the place. But, uh, yeah, so we took this part here off yesterday, last night. I didn't drain the hydraulic oil out of it, which I'm going to have Tim do pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, here he is. As you can see in there, it's the synchronizers. You see that one spot right there? It got hot. And, uh, you know, so the synchronizers are out of there. They're broken. Um, what actually happened was the, uh, wasn't so much a synchronizer, well, the synchronizers, the detent ball for the uh, shifting collar actually came out enough that it would jam the shifting collar into one place and it wouldn't shift. It was stuck in the C range. So what I'm going to do is real simple. I'm going to get a couple of bolts in this transmission here and I have to split it here. So you have to take all these bolts out and then this thing here will go forward and out of the way uh, so that you can um, get to the transmission part of it. This is the power shift side of it. Uh, so there's a lot of neat things in there and I didn't get a chance to look but here, Tim, hold this light. I didn't get a chance to look too close last night. What are you turning it off for? This is the input shaft. Now, that will strip out. Go ahead, put it so I can see to the back. You can see that they're getting very thin. I've put grease inside of those because I actually replaced this already once. But you see that worn spot there? It's out of balance. It's wobbling in there because of those splines. So when I get this apart, I actually have to take, I gotta clean this, obviously, but uh, I have to take this plate off of here and I have to remove that input shaft that goes to the back of the transmission or somewhere's in there. I, I know it's in there someplace, but anyways, I don't think it turns anything back there. It just turns a power shift pack in the front. Well, I mean, I could hear from in the back here. Too. Yeah, probably for the oil pump. It runs the oil pump. So anyways, so this has got to come away. Um, I've got paperwork on how to do it, but it doesn't, it's not very explicit. Uh, it just shows me what it looks like inside and where the synchronizers are, which are here, I believe. Let me see here. It's really kind of vague, very vague. And I, number five is a synchronizer, so there it is. How many of those number fives are there? One. The other, yeah, there's a couple of synchronizers. So I got this synchronizer here and this synchronizer here. And this little ball here is what came out. So that's what we're dealing with. So we're going to get it the rest of the way apart. And yeah, we're going to clean that thing up and get her ripped apart and then uh, get the parts ordered in here for, say, tomorrow. And uh, then we'll have to put it back together. I already made arrangements to have somebody press the parts back into place on the shavs, so that's taken care of. But anyways, here we go. Okay, so I've been working at it, me and Tim have, and uh, I've got the uh, wires and all the hoses that are in the way. I just threw them up there. Um, he's gonna go get the pallet forks on the skid steer, and we're gonna go ahead and make a full on assault on this thing. Uh, this thing gets warm as hell, by the way. Um, yeah, we're gonna split it here, pull that forward. That should, 
I'm gonna release this pipe here and then take it down that one right there that'll come down because I don't really want to pull that out of there in one piece so I'll just drop that um, there's another one over here that goes directly into there which I'm going to probably God, I have no idea. I think it'll just pull out. It should have an O-ring in it, but I don't know, you know, sometimes you gotta tap on them with stuff, but it looks to me like it'll break out of there pretty easy. It looks like an O-ring sealed type thing. Um, yeah, again, we got the oil out of there. There is a power shift pack down there somehow. I think that's for the four-wheel drive. Matter of fact, I know that's for the four-wheel drive unit. It's four-wheel drive drive unit. It drives off of the parking gear. Uh, yeah. So everything else up in there looks really, really, really good. It's just going to be a matter of getting it pulled apart and uh, out of there. So, yeah, I'm going to get to it on that pipe and he will come around and uh, we're going to cherry pick this thing right out of there. What, what do you got? I found the problem. No, no. You got heart and ass disease? <laughs> no, I got a tear in my leg. What happened to your leg? Um, a bucket of brass. Bucket of brass? Bucket of brass. Anyways, holy shit, look at all these parts. Alright, well, here's the problem. Right here, we have a shifter ring that is chewed all to hell. It's missing like half of its teeth. So that's history. Um, synchronizer, as you can see it was hot there because it was slammed up against that and they're not supposed to do that. So that's the problem there. So as simple as it is, that's it. So what happened, I guess this is the synchronizer was actually sliding in there because it wasn't breaking or something. I don't know. Something to do with that. But anyways, that's the problem. So we got two synchronizers in that one, two synchronizers in that one. I'm going to replace that shifting ring there and the springs and all the little giblets that go in there. As you can see, the detent levers and everything. So that's my job for tonight. Uh, the other problem that we had was real simple is the input shaft into this power shift part of the transmission this guy right here the oil pump is on the other side of this thing so I have to pull the oil pump off to replace that because the splines are about ready to strip out and uh, that is what the issue is now I guess I could show you the rear end of the tractor um, I'm going to shut the doors actually you guys might as well shut the doors 
because we're going to have rain tonight. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, there's a few ba bearings, little bronze bearings here. I'm going to replace those for the simple reason because I've got this transmission this far apart. I might as well fix it up right. Uh, yeah, so here's what it looks like on the input side of the, uh, the ring gear. Boy, I, that just looks like a real son of a bitch to have to replace that differential. I guess it comes out the back. I mean, I really don't know. This is just a flat face. So we've got it all blocked up and they shut the lights off on me. So there it is. There it is. Synchronizers on this are a lot different than the, in the 4450. These are coned. That's coned, this guy right here. So I'm pretty sure that is, yeah, it's just shot. Synchronizers are shot. All right. I'm getting good at this shit. Anyways, thanks for watching.